So, uh, God said homos excel because of self-loathing. <laughs> Traditionally, a lot of homos excel. Um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, If you're happy, it balances with sad. So like Catholics at church are very sad. You know, humility is um, if you're a Catholic, you spend all day going, oh my God, Jesus died for me. I'm eating his body. And uh, it certainly is an exercise in humility. It's unclear if you can direct the, uh, <clears throat> you know, you got, you got a hose, you can aim the hose at certain directions um, when you, uh, when you do spiritual kind of things, it's hard to control the nature of the reward. Um, let's say you give to charity and what you're hoping is to be blessed with money and it doesn't quite work out that way <clears throat> maybe if you give it in a different way you get it in a different way um, I don't know so uh, if you humble yourself eating the body of Christ um, does it make you discover a cure for cancer? Well, there's some birds. They're singing. I killed my bird. This is a fucker. What? So, uh, You remember uh, partial differential equations, boundary value problems. <clears throat> Ambient temperature. So like there was a uh, there was a demon that what if like you had a door and like if a fast moving particle was coming you open the door and if a slow moving particle was coming you close the door <clears throat> you got a little demon and it's doing that and then it's the classic I, I hated ther I hated thermodynamics I don't know why. No, I, just, I know why, because I hated it. Just fuck it. You got your spoon spinning in your cup of coffee. Coffee gets warmer. It stops spinning something. It gets colder. What? Zero gravity. The HAL 9000 starts tripping balls as it goes to sleep. Daisy. So, outrageous joy. In your presence is fullness of joy. In your right hand there are pleasures forever. I know. No greater need today than the need for for joy, unexplainable, contagious joy, outrageous joy. When that kind of joy comes aboard our ship of life, it brings things with it like enthusiasm for life, determination to hang in there, a strong desire to make encouragement to others. Such qualities make our voyage bearable when we hit the open seas and encounter high waves of hardship that tend to demoralize and paralyze. 
There is nothing better than a joyful attitude when we're faced with challenges life throws at us. Someone once asked Mother Teresa what job description for anyone who might be wishing to work alongside her in the grimly streets and narrow alleys of Calcutta. Without hesitation, she mentioned only two things. Desire to work hard and a joyful attitude. 